Hey YouTube family, welcome back to the Jolly Owl. I'm doing a, a quick gun review. Um, this is actually a pellet gun. Uh, I picked it up from Tractor Supply for about a hundred bucks. Uh, just doing a, a review on it. I needed this because I have some uh, some pests around the house that I have to take, control, take care of and um, the, uh, the traps that I set out aren't, aren't working. Um, so I had a chance to mount the scope to it. It's a Crossman Fire Brake Barrel. Um, it says it shoots up to 1200 feet per second. Um, I think it depends on, on the type of type of pellet you load into it. Um, some things that I actually like about this weapon out of the box. Um, so again, I've already taken this out, put it together. Um, it's a fairly large, uh, large rifle type brake barrel. Um, you can see this is your standard 760 pump master compared to the uh, fire brake barrel. Um, the 760 pump master isn't, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this for, uh, for any pests around the house. This is good for, for planking and whatnot. Um, but right off the bat, um, I can't say that I, I was in love with the design of the gun. I really just picked it up because it was a hundred bucks and, and I really needed something. Um, that could get the job done. It's got a skeletonized stock you can see here, um, which is kind of growing on me a little bit. You could probably add a, a little loop through there and maybe put another loop on the gun. Um, the, uh, the overall weight of the weapon is about eight pounds, seven and a half, eight pounds. There are some features that I actually do really like on this, on this gun that I found out when I was sighting on the scope. So you have an adjustable trigger down here. Uh, so Clockwise, you could actually uh, finely tune it. So just touching it gives it a, a lesser uh, lesser pound pull on, on the trigger. And uh, also, I do like the integrated safety. So there's the safety switch right there. So you flip it forward. Uh, some people may not like that if you have thicker fingers. My fingers are kind of kind of skinny, um, but I, I do like that. It's really really easy. Um, the scope on this is just. Uh, I think it's a center point, if I'm not mistaken, 4x32. Uh, comes with uh, some caps. I do like the features on the, uh, the scope itself. Um, if you look under here, it'll, it'll tell you one click is a quarter inch at 100 yards. So say 25 yards, it's gonna move a 16th of an inch. So that, that's really nice uh, when signing in. Some people have said uh, center points or, or the, the type of uh, scope that comes with these um, aren't that great that hasn't been my experience um, as long as you mount it the correct way um, as you can see there's two different mounting brackets on this and there's actually a, uh, a center point that's drilled into the top of the the, uh, the casing here that you line that up with um, to get it uh, prevent it from from moving back and forth you could actually mount this the wrong way and i could see some people if they if they don't correctly mount it um, they may never be able to, to sight the scope in so uh, that could be uh, that could be a little bit of an issue. Um, I'm not crazy about the thickness of this barrel. It claims it, it's quieter. Um, pellet guns are pretty quiet to begin with, though. Um, it does give it like kind of a, a fancy a fancy look. Um, I, I I'm undecided on whether I, I like the uh, I like the look of the of the weapon. It does uh, it does fit into the shoulder nicely, so that's that's good. That's a plus. Um, as you'd expect, uh, breaking the barrel to add the uh, to add a pellet isn't that difficult. You set it on the ground, you take the furthest point away, and you push so you get the most torque on it. Uh, pretty easy to, to load the load the pellet up. So that's uh, that's kind of nice. It does uh, it does go through at least a half inch of oak as I was sighting in the uh, the scope here. It did. Uh, it did go right through the oak and then I had boards behind it that it lodged itself into. So it does have a decent velocity that, that comes out of it. Um, there's also, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could do, um, if you if you were looking to get a little bit more feet per second, um, again, don't try it at home, all disclaimer. Um, I don't know if I would ever do it, but um, there's such thing as dieseling a pellet gun where you would add one or two drops of, of diesel to the back of a pellet and the way diesel ignites is through compression, unlike gasoline, which uh, ignites through a, through some type of spark. Um, so you compress diesel, and, and it'll it'll light. So the idea would be, you know, you have a diesel in the back of the pellet. The compression of the gun will pull the trigger, 
goes forward, ignites the diesel and gives it an extra extra push out of the barrel. Um, that's known as dieseling a, a pellet gun. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I've never done it myself, and, and I think what I'm using this for, um, the weapon already has a, has a, a, a fast enough feet per second that it'll, it'll do what I want it to do. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice. Uh, I like this actually. I think I prefer pellet guns over like something like a 22 because the amount of ammunition that you can carry, I mean, you can carry a you know, box of pellets and have however many rounds and they're quieter, um, lighter. Uh, although this, this is actually heavier than the, the shockwave that I reviewed a couple of months back. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I can't say yet that I, that I recommend it, but I do like a lot of the features that are, that are built in that, I, that I've seen so far. The, the style of the gun is actually kind of growing on me a little bit. I wasn't, wasn't crazy about it at first. I just needed something to do, something to do the job, but, uh, it's, uh, it is, it is kind of, kind of large, um, you know, very large compared to what you would, you would think a normal, a normal BB gun or a pellet gun is, but, uh, it's, uh, it's been okay so far, um, as far as I can tell. Longevity, I've only had it a week, um, I haven't, other than the, uh, pellets that I put through the site the scope in hasn't seen a whole lot of use. I would worry if you're if you're going to be out um, maybe hunting small game with this uh, and driving around the woods. I think I'd be worried about this. Although it is pretty stiff plastic down here, I mean, it's a, a strong piece. If you end up dropping it, I can see that that could be a problem. That might break. Um, that's pretty thin up there too, thin and flimsy. Uh, the trigger down here. They probably could have hogged out some of this and made it a little bit lighter. Um, if I were doing it, I'd like to skeletonize this whole piece section right here to reduce some weight. Overall, it is it is a pretty pretty hefty gun. Um, you know, you're walking miles and miles. I, I don't know if this is the this is the weapon that you want to take with you, but uh, it is nice that it's you know, just shoots pellets and, and doesn't take up a lot of weight when it comes to ammunition and and um, your accelerant is you know right in your hand. The pump and the spring that's in there so uh yeah this is this is the uh, crossman fire you know, 100 bucks at uh, tractor supply you might be able to find it cheaper um if you look online or look for sales you might be able to get it for for 80 or 90. um not too bad given given the features that uh that this that this has i really didn't expect much being it was you know as cheap as it is well 100 bucks i think is, is relatively cheap for for uh any type of uh any type of weapon um, but yeah, I, I'm really impressed with that safety. I, I really like that. Um, I like you can adjust the, the sensitivity of the trigger. I like the, uh, the writing on the scope to tell you, depending on each click that you turn it, how far it's going. Um, overall, it, it seems like it's gonna, it's gonna work. There's a nitro piston, uh, chamber in here. I don't know what that means because I'm not as familiar with pellet guns. Um, but it might, uh, it might do the job. So. Yeah, this is a Crossman Fire. Have a great day.